boom, we are back. We got the SP500 go over that started at that support level. We got some of the bigger names like NVIDIA, his support level kind of went up. SMCI kind of started at that support level. It's trying to go up. We got Tesla stock as well. In between areas, we actually played Tesla today. Well, I didn't play it, but I told the team to play it. Some of them got 20% gain, so that was nice. We also got the crypto sector, SDL, Tilray. We got the oil sector, gold sector, and the crypto sector, okay? So like Bitcoin and so forth and the crypto stocks. So we'll go over the main sectors of this video. Smash the like button, subscribe if you're new. Make sure you join the team. And make sure you get this video over 120 likes within four hours. That's all I ask from you guys. Thank you all for smashing the like button on the previous video. That's why there's a video today, okay? So thank you. And let's get straight into it. So, NVIDIA. NVIDIA hit support good. It went up. I'm not really interested in any upsides of NVIDIA. We do have a smaller resistance that I'll put on here, about 875. But I, I'm really just looking for downward side, right? So I'm just looking for continued downside. I know we had a big drop off the news um, this morning, like CPI. We have bigger news tomorrow. So make sure you stay tuned for that. But I think we'll continue going down on NVIDIA. I think we'll break that 843. There's not too much to do in this range that it is right now. So, just got to wait. But those are the major levels I'm watching out for. AMC stocks in the gutter, not looking to trade it. GameStop stocks in the gutter, not looking to play it as well. You got Palantir stock that's very stalled. I think it should be breaking that $21 level. $20, $21 area. There's nothing in here that's interesting on Palantir stock because the only way Palantir stock works and the only way I want to play it is shares. And shares don't work in a bearish market, okay? SoFi stock had an up movement, trying to come down. It does have support around $7.45, $7.50. So you could watch that. OK, so what we could do is we'll just put a level right there. This is just like Palantir. It doesn't really work. I only want shares on it. Right. Some stocks I don't play options on. I give you all those rules on whether or not what to know what, uh, what stocks to play, what stocks not to play, like and what options to play, what options not to play. There's rules to follow. OK, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Then um, Apple stock came down, broke that support area today. It did have a nice little movement. Uh, if you go down to the one minute candle, had a nice little push down here. Right. We actually played Apple stock today. We got Apple put option. We got 10, 20, over 23% gains. You can Boom, see how the just team that right big here. down movement on Apple stock. You can see whole team A, 15, 16, 17, 22% gain, 15, 14, 5%. Right there, exactly 10, 10, 15. So, pay for your as you can see how the team won, that's why I say make sure you join the team. First in the description is only $65 a month. You can see everything I buy and sell from the cryptos, the shares, the options, the leaps, all that good stuff. First in the description, we closed in about 31 or 30. Two days or so. Lifetime membership is forty nine one time fee. Elite year six fifty for the year. Personal training. If you want me to teach you personally, will not accept at gmail.com. So whenever you join Elite, you get access to private live streams where you get to see what I'm trying to buy, what I'm selling, what I'm looking at, top plays. Also, also educate yourself of the market. Get serious, okay? It's literally right in front of you or where you want to be. It's just you just gotta take that step, okay? So Apple stock, watch that. Actually, it actually broke this support level. I think Apple stock is going to continue to uh, kind of just fall down. We'll put another support at about 167. But I, like I said, I think you see Apple stock to around 160. And I'm just not bullish on Apple stock right now. Even if we go like to Tesla stock, I called out a Tesla play this morning. That's why I say you want to be in the private live streams. Um, the team won on that also. But I think Tesla is going to be breaking the support around 165. It's taken a while to get down there. But I don't feel comfortable buying Tesla shares or options or nothing. Until we get to about 150, right? That's what I'm kind of waiting out for right now on a uh, Tesla stock. And that's like the main thing. Still the main levels, but I'm just bearish on it. Looking for mainly downside. Unless something changes, then I'll change with it. But for right now, we got to go with the order flow, okay? Cannabis uh, SNDL support at $2.05. We can move the support. It did kind of hold today, but we can move support around $1.98. So watch that support area. On SNDL is not too much I want to do with it right now. Actually, zero at all, but you can watch the support level. Tilray stock, uh, watch support around uh, $1.95. Nothing to do on it. After it hit $2.80, that was the only play I saw on Tilray stock. Remember, be careful of free trading. There's not really any play right now. Again, none of financial advice, all educational purposes only. Don't trade that you see here in this video. There's not much I can trade right now on Tilray, right? So I'm only watching that support level, and that's about it, right? So that's your analyst on like the cannabis type of sector. Reddit. I'm pretty sure this bad boy is crashing down. Hopefully, you guys listen. You didn't get in. I told y'all you got to give it like at least a month. I know everybody wants to play it. It was shooting up, but that's not a play. It's just free movement, right? There's a big difference, and that difference will help you save your capital, not take losses, and so forth. So Reddit's pulling down. I would say right around April 20s is probably when I play Reddit, so let it fall for now. DJT still crashing. Breaking support levels. Like I told y'all, it's not really much to do on DJT right now. Watch new support at $33.65. 
seems like that's going to be breaking tomorrow. I'm thinking maybe around elections this might get a little better, but for now, it's pretty much just in the gutter and doesn't seem like it wants to go out anywhere from where it is now. Okay, so just kind of let that move. The SP 500 had a nice little drop um, pre market after the CPI news right here. Boom, as expected, we are pretty much bearish. And then it stalled out the rest of the day. It did nothing today at all. Okay, so hopefully tomorrow we actually get some nice movements during the day. You want to be watching 513.50. That's our support level. It already broke this one because of the news. Then a resistance at 519. But 513.50, once that breaks, that's when I feel like SP 500 is going to have some legs and then actually going to start pushing down. But that also helps you to understand that other stocks are probably going to be pushing down too. So you want to be watching the SPY every day you're in the market. It will help you out a lot. Okay. Very, very important that you um, that you kind of watch that. Like I said, it will help you out a lot. Let's go to gold. Oh, wrong gold. Hold on. GLD Barack Gold uh, had a nice little pull down after almost hitting that resistance at 1835. Look at the high. It was 1832. That's why I say only three cents away from that. But pull down. Right. So it came back up to that support. But there's not much I want to do with gold right now. Like, yes, I do believe it could still go higher. So there's potential like shares plays and so forth. But we're so consistent on what we do every morning. That's the benefit of being consistent. You don't have to play everything that's moving. OK, but these are still the analysts, still the same level, still the same support on gold. But I do expect gold for Barack Gold to hit around nineteen dollars. And like I said, I might want to play options on gold, but I needed GLD to pull down. And we're finally getting that. So what am I watching for on GLD? GLD. It will be right around like 214 as support. So watch that area for support. That's like the main thing I'll be watching for right now on GLD is that 214 of support. OK, that would be major. If it holds that support, maybe I'll get call options to go to the higher side. But if it breaks that support, it might start to trend down just a little bit more. Let's go to the oil sector. Make sure you guys smash the like button. Subscribe if you are new. Comment any of the stocks you guys want me to go over in the comment section down below. And um, all the ones you guys commented, I'll put them closer to the end of the video. OK, but oil. Oil still kind of going up, support around 67, 60 ish. Um, I think oil could still go higher. It's just not much I want to do with oil. It's just not really a play per se in here, right? We've been calling the reversal all the way through here. We kind of got that big movement. So I just say watch support for now, but it's not too much I would really want to do with oil if I'm being on this. Let's go to uh, Bitcoin with the crypto sector. So Bitcoin. Bitcoin is just it like it doesn't want to drop. It doesn't want to go up. It doesn't really want to do anything. Right. It's been a right, right around the 68,000 to 70,000 for like since March 5th. And it's already April 10th. Right. What's the thing? Yeah. April 10th. So it's been over a month. Bitcoin has not moved. Right. But that's also show signs. The last time it did not move from December all the way to like February. It stalled out for like two months in here. And then it started going up. Right. So this is like an accumulation stage. Just be careful because it could have a big crash. But I don't think we're going to see higher movements until we break that 72,100 level, which is a resistance, right? You see, I ran up there and it broke back down. That's why I say don't miss a video. We also have um, we also been selling some uh, crypto plays. We've been buying some new crypto plays like Solana, Ethereum, Bitcoin. Make sure you join the team to see that. But yeah, so Bitcoin is very sideways in here, right? So that's still the major levels I'm watching for. And since Bitcoin hasn't confirmed yet, that means Coinbase hasn't confirmed yet, even though it's having some nice push. It's just not confirmation. OK. We're still watching support around 242. I'm kind of just waiting. Also, MSTR, nice push today off that support at 1370. Hit it perfect. What was the low of today of MSTR? It was 1373. Three cents away from that support level. And boop, nice little push off that. I'm not ready to buy that just yet because, like I said, Bitcoin's not confirming. So these would be pointless of playing because they'll just crash right back down after having that upper movement. So those are like the top two crypto ones I'm looking out for. And also, RKB. We already have shares of RKB. That's why I say join the team. Um, I think this was going to be very nicely. I think RKB get up, can get up to about $100 per share. And right now it's around 70-ish, right? So that's still like a, what, 40 to 50% gain that I'm looking out for in RKB. Make sure you join to see that play. But the real only level on RKB is the support level around like $64-ish. So just watch that. But that's a nice, if you believe in Bitcoin, then you should believe in RKB as well, okay? This is a Bitcoin ETF from um, ARK. So just kind of watch that um, on the higher side. HYMC. Just kind of stalled at the support level and not really doing much. Just kind of watch. If it breaks that resistance, it could go higher. But if it breaks support, it'll probably crash. But just watch the two levels. It's not much. I'm really not looking to play it at all, if I'm being honest. BABA, it needs to break $70 for me to be interested. It hasn't done that yet. Boeing, still crashing. Actually broke support level. I'm looking for a big reversal on this one. But remember I told y'all, where did I want Boeing to go, right? I wanted Boeing to go to 170. We're almost there, right? So I'm kind of just waiting for that to hit. 
and I'll take the support off for now and I'll just leave that $170 mark on there. I love how it's crashing because that's going to lead to nice opportunities for a reversal, right? So I'm trying to catch that reversal movement on Boeing. I'm kind of just being patient and waiting on it, but that is a potential I'm watching. Snapchat, I think will be a nice reversal, but I don't think it's going to come until um, earnings. So just kind of watch out for that earnings movement. Um, I think earnings will be a little better when they'll actually have like a movement higher, which is not that far away, like two weeks. So that's what I'm kind of watching out for on Snapchat. PayPal, very stalled. There's not much to do right here on PayPal. I think it could go up lower term, but I want it to break like $75. Once it breaks that, then I'm looking to go crazy on like PayPal. Also start watching some interest rates type of stocks like Enphase, Affirm, Sunrun, Tesla even, um, all the car ones, Carvana, Ford, all those that are uh, a little hurt by the interest rates. Those are going to start moving once interest rates start to come down, right? It might even be a slow movement depending on how fast they cut interest rates. But they will have some nice pushes. But also you have to know we're about to be in earnings seasons in like two weeks, okay? So be mindful of that. Have that in the back of your head. We already have uh, we already had a couple earnings like Delta and so forth. But we're going to start getting into a little more earnings. So in phase is going to be nice, but it's just going to take time. As you can tell, it's been in this like 120 range ever since like August. So it's almost a year it's been in the same range. So I'm not trying to just go heavy when it's been the same range for a year. I'd rather just wait until I feel like it's actually going to break out and actually start to see some higher prices to the high 170 to 200. That would be more beneficial to me, okay? Make sure you guys don't forget to join the team. It's only $65 a month, very low for the value. Close in about 30 days. And once I open it back up, all prices will be higher, okay? So if you're looking for lower prices, you won't get them. But make sure you join first in the description. Also follow me on Instagram at will.knowledge. Go run it up. I'm starting to post a little bit more. And uh, yeah, so that's in phase. Metastock is very salt, uh, stalled. It's very stalled. There's not much to do on Metastock right now. And most of the big names, I think they all should have some more pull down. Um, but let me see. All right. So let's see what y'all commented. I'll put some in here right now. Okay. H A S I. H A S I. This is not. This is not anything I would play. It's just. It's just too stalled. You want to be careful of stuff that's stalling out too much because it could hurt you in the longer run. Okay. Um, silver trust I'll add in the next video because we could talk about silver Dell is a little too high it's very stagnant type of movement so it's not too optimal to be playing in that range coca-cola is more of a long term so coca-cola is like ko it's like a long term if you just want your money to just grow slow get dividends it's like AT&T or Pepsi those are more dividend type of stocks really uh, to be honest with you okay JMAI is just doing nothing but crash, 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 crash. Watch the port at 440. See how that holds. And it just went into penny stock range. Any stock below $5 penny stock. So not much to do with that one either. I want to make sure there's no stocks I didn't go over that I wanted to go. We know where the cannabis sector, gold sector, oil sector, crypto sector, bigger name stocks, S&P 500. I feel like I'm missing something. Nope. I think that's good. Um, we can go over a little other ones, but tomorrow will be a bigger video than today. Okay. But I'll, I'll leave it at that. That's like the main focus points and also the main sectors of the market that we went over. So thank you guys for watching the video. Smash the like button, subscribe if you're new. And always remember, no segregation of ours. So anything, it's for education purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. Catch you guys in the next one. Bye.